Hello everyone, this is Gogo Mama at Highland Homestead and today we're going to talk about the Berkey. The other day on my live we were talking about prepping and what we would do if we didn't have any water. This is one of the systems that we use here if we don't have water. The Berkey system, I just want to give you a few facts. The Berkey system is a water purifier that you have taken the first steps toward protecting you and your family from disease causing viruses, pathogens, parasites, harmful chemicals, heavy metals, and other waterborne contaminants. The ease of operation of this unit combined with the proven effectiveness at eliminating waterborne diseases such as cholera and typhoid has led to this system being specified for field operations by many of the world's major aid and emergency relief organizations. And I wanted to read that to you today because we don't have just this Berkeley for nothing. It is really important to have clean, fresh water. So I'm going to talk about this system. You have an upper chamber. You have a lower chamber. You have your purification element and the wing nuts and washers, depending on your unit. And then you also have your priming button, and I'm gonna show you that here in a minute, and your instructions. <clears throat> and they've done really, really well with the instructions here today. This isn't a promotion for Berkey, but we love our Berkey, especially in the summer months and if we need to use it, if our water ever goes out, that's what we would use is this Berkey here, this Berkey system. So let me show you a little bit about how to assemble this, what it's going to look like. So your Berkey is going to look like this this is the bottom all of this stuff this spigot will come separately and you're going to have to install this into your system and but it gives really good directions for you all okay so this is actually the bottom the top comes with two holes here and inside so that'll set here you have your lid and then you have your filters. Uh, the filters are charcoal filters and they have little bitty, 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 bitty tiny holes in them. And I'll see if I can find a picture of that for you for the system so it, it can clean and purify all of the water that is going into it. Fun fact is when I was growing up in the old farmhouse, they had a cistern underneath the farmhouse. And it was really neat because it was built on the foundation, all on in rock. And if they ever ran out of water, the, fil the system actually came from the gutters and went down into the cistern in uh, the old farmhouse. So they always had water at the farmhouse. Now, they never ran out of water. The old, this old farmhouse, they don't build these farmhouses like this anymore with the old cisterns underneath. Uh, it, should, it was just a very unique um, experience for me growing up if the pipes were not frozen to the house. They had the piping right down into the cistern so they could draw water right up into the house. And that that house was built 1800s. 
This has all been primed. My husband has primed this for me. What you're going to do is you're going to take this and here's the little primer on top. Okay. You're going to take this and put it right up against your faucet and you're going to turn the water on just a little bit until you see this all bleed out the water and it gets right up to here you take this off you take the nut off so this you're going to take off you're going to take the nut off and you're going to actually put this into this top part Okay, that's going to go through like that and then you are going to just twist this right up into here nice and snug okay <clears throat> and there's a hole right here in this that drips the water can everybody see that and that's how your water is going to be purified we're, I'm going to do this again with this one. I haven't um, done this filter yet. But you take this off. You leave this one on. And that also has a hole in it. I'm going to put this right on top here. And a lot of people put um, something underneath this. Um, or you put it at the edge of your counter. You put your top on. And there you have it. So your maintenance for this system is you're supposed to uh, wash the chamber out once a month. You should not put any salt water in this product at all. That's the only thing. It has to be some sort of spring or pond water or uh, like we have outside, we have snow. You could put snow in there. We have done this system with our pond water and we have drank it. Right now, I can't show you it outside because it's frozen but we have used this with the pond water. All right. So this is our Berkey system if ever we would need it. And you can also boil your water, let that cool, and then also put it in the Berkey system if you would like to do that too. But I just wanted to come to you and talk about the Berkey system because it is a fantastic system to have. And we are happy to have this on the homestead. And we were talking about prepping. This is one way that our homestead is prepped for the future. And we are always in some sort of prepping uh, on the homestead as far as the future is concerned with being self-sufficient here. So thanks for uh, coming along today and letting me show you our Berkey system. And we will talk to you soon. I will put up some links to some other videos right here that will show you more of our pond and some of the water and or uh, our seeds that we're doing to be self-sufficient here on the homestead. Thanks everybody for staying with us. Thank you all to all of our subscribers. And you guys all have a wonderful day from our house to yours. This is Go Go Mama. Toodles.